Hey everybody, it's Elizabeth and it's a noisy day at the porch at Starbucks where I spend most of my mornings because uh, I have a really kick-ass coffee club. But you can tell I'm in a little under the weather. It's been a fun time at South by Southwest. However, I came back with something, not COVID, thankfully. But definitely the allergies in Austin are kicking my ass. And it's funny how Facebook memories work because in 2015, I showed another picture of me holding how bad the allergies were with the yet another Mucinex box, which is how I'm getting through uh, the pressure in my head so I can actually do my job. Woo! Anyway, but besides that, I mean, the thing is, is like, I'm, this video is really more about the motivational. So I have uh, about 112 pages of my draft book written and I'm looking forward to learning the self-publishing process on that. But really, it's about like learning how to find happiness even throughout the weirdness of circumstances because um, definitely I don't feel my best in Austin uh, compared to when I'm out of the salt air on the coast. But, you know, it's also another thing where realizing that there's absolutely nothing wrong with other people's food choices, but knowing that I had the underlying Lyme issues where I definitely need to have um, very strong multivitamin supplements and a strict diet, because I'll also share when a pop-up here um, what I used to look like. And the thing is, like, everything can give me inflammation and realizing that I have to take very good care of myself more so just to feel normal and but that's okay because when I do I'm strong enough to hold a spinnaker in 22 knot winds so what's my priority I want to see 80 years old and be kick-ass lifting weights in the gym and in order to do that you got to keep lifting weights all throughout your life and keeping your health up no matter if it looks a little different and the number one way and I was talking with a friend of mine um, over messenger it is to stay happy and always have something to look forward to. So, y'all, find something to always look forward to, choose happy, and do what's best for you, even though it's a little bit odd for other people's perspective, but they may not know the whole story behind everything. And also, you know, how to choose the things uh, to look forward to is one day having a kick-ass boat that I can actually sleep on and, and race in the harvest moon because that's something I really enjoy doing and the sailing is what's bring me a lot of joy these last three years and knowing that I've improved my physical actual strength to do so and moved from a position of unhealth and not feeling well to a place where I feel alert, happy, and strong enough to do this. I just have to do it a little differently. And thank you to all those who accept a sober sailor with a lot of food issues on the crew and keep me going and moving forward because it's a lot of fun to sail with y'all. And to everybody else who looks forward to all the sailing pictures, Thank you for the feedback, and even if you don't sail, thank you for telling me that they're pretty, because I really feel ins uh, inspired to share this as part of my story, and National Puppy Day really um, made me miss Ellie and remember Ellie and honor her memory, and also because, you know, I can't think of Ellie in heaven without being next to my mom in heaven so you know you got to live life every day as you know and appreciate what you got so go do that enjoy your loved ones and hug them while you can so life is short make the most of it and have fun along the way so signing off live longer and thrive y'all